This is Diana Price, the Queen of Scream at thequeenofscream.com. Checking in today, I had a chance to sit down with Lucas Bryant on a conference call with the media and chat with him a little bit about some stuff with Haven and, you know, why he feels you should be watching this show, which you should. I can tell you that as somebody who's a brand new convert to the show, it's really good. So he talks a little bit about that and, uh, well, I saved a little special clip for you that I'm going to play here in a bit. But I should let you know, the guy is kind of obsessed with onions. He likes to compare the show to layers of an onion, and he was doing that previously. So if some things seem a little weird, that kind of helps you understand some of his comments. And unfortunately, the question I really wanted to ask, somebody stole from me, so I had to sort of improvise. But uh, he's kind of an interesting character, this one. So check it out. Hey. Um, well, I was actually going to ask you if the new sassy Audrey might come back and be a little more attracted to Duke than Nathan, but I think we've already kind of covered that. Um, personally, it would, it would be kind of interesting, I think, if she came back and had a crush on Dwight so we could have a love quadrangle, but uh, I don't think that's probably going to happen. Hello. <laughs> but um, I, I am actually kind of recently discovered the show and just fell in love with it and was thinking, why haven't I watched this before? So um, if you were sitting down with a room full of people that have never seen the show before, what would you tell them, the one thing you would tell them to try to convince them that they must be watching this show? Uh, Well, I guess I'd have to find out if they liked onions first. (laughs) Do any of you appreciate onions? Um. Well, you know, like I said, like I said, um, I think this show has such a great blend of, of of all sorts of things that I find very cool. You know, it's got these weird mysteries, this gorgeous town and setting that you know you don't see places like this on on TV that often, um, and the dark and creepy Stephen King factor. But there's a lot of it's not a comedy, but there's there's a lot of 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 love and light in be, um, in the relationships of our characters, and and I think it the show really has a unique blend of all these things that I don't necessarily know what you would call it, um, but I'm really proud of its originality, you know. Um, it walks a lot of lines. I mean, there's, you know, love stories and friend stories and scary stories and, you know, really intense emotional stories and, and it kind of packs them all together. So, so yeah, that would be my seller. I'm I'm really proud of, of the way this show has somehow been able to do that. Yeah, my the first impression I had of it, you know, with the kind of the quirky small town in the middle of nowhere, it was sort of like, you know, X-Files meets Northern Exposure. <laughs> so it's just got yeah. so many great elements to it. It's not, it's got so many layers. It's not just a horror show or not just, you know, a small town show. And that was, I was just kind of blown away by that and really loved, uh, and I was, like I said, I was just like, why have I not been watching this? So anyway, that has been remedied over here, you know, with me. So, um, but that was, um, you know, something I wanted to touch bases on. And um, if you could pick one way for the series to end, um, what would to you would be the ideal way to end this series? I know hopefully it won't happen for many, many seasons, but what would you like to see happen to the characters at the end of the series? Nathan will be a very old man and he'll just finally die when his rocking chair breaks on his porch. (laughs) Um, either that or Nathan, Duke, and Audrey start a band on the road or, um, yeah, how would I like to see it end? Well, I'd like a happy ending, you know, is that too much to ask? I would like, uh, I I would like them, yeah, I would like them to figure out what in God's name is going on here and how to you know, stop it in a way that they could, they could do with, that included everyone surviving. 
You know, that would be nice. Um, I think that there's, you know, with the with the onion layers, I think there are there are in this season we're we're learning that the you know the forces the forces behind this phenomenon are 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 huge and powerful and so to be yeah to be able to get into all of that um explain them explore them and then somehow fix it that would be that would be wild but i first of all i'd just be curious to see what they are you know because i feel like we do have a good you know four more seasons in well who knows maybe they will end up in a band <laughs> So that that would be an interesting yeah. way to wrap it up. What what would the band name be? Oh, the band name. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay, you'll have um, to get back to me on that one if you can't think of one. I will get back to you, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. I know that you've got a very busy schedule, and like I said, hopefully we'll speak again in the future. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, that was Lucas Bryant from the sci-fi series Haven talking about the upcoming season, which debuts September 13th. That is Friday the 13th. So check it out. I think you will not be disappointed. And, hey, after that sales pitch, how can you turn the guy down? <laughs>